as part of the Sunset Club shipment, I'm going to be tasting the 2021 vintage of the Tensley Syrah from Santa Barbara County here in California. So this is a family-run business uh, founded in the 1980s. Um, Joey Tensley is the owner and winemaker. He knew he wanted to be a winemaker at the age of 12 after a visit to France. This is 100% Syrah. Now, if you've tasted with me before, you know I love Syrah. Um, but make up your own mind, we'll taste this together. But what's interesting about where this is grown is Santa Barbara County is bordered by the Pacific Ocean on both the west and the south. Um, so we're getting a lot of this sort of maritime influence. And in addition, the valleys run east to west and they sort of pull in these cool coastal breezes fog. So even the more inland areas can stay fairly cool, but still get this great California sunshine. And there's a big diurnal shift. So that's a shift in temperature from day to night. And why that matters in your glass is that you're going to get both the ripeness, but also still this great acidity and freshness from that, that dichotomy of sunshine and cooling influences. So let's try this together. You can see right off the bat, it's very vibrant in color. Um, one of the things that I do love about Syrah is even right off the bat on the nose, I'm getting so many things coming out of this glass. There's fruit notes, there's sort of blackberry, black cherry, blueberry, but then there's a lot of sort of spice, earthy, there's a cracked pepper note to it, there's violets, there's lavender, there's sage, there's fennel in this glass, and almost a lid of sort of like smoked um, meat note to it um, in this glass, which is typical for Syrah. So let's try it together. Does not disappoint. Um, that's pretty tasty wine right there. Um, it's kind of medium in body, fresh acidity, which I would expect from that, that sort of cooling influence. And this is also a blend of five different vineyards within Santa Barbara County. So you're kind of getting to experience the best of these five different microclimates all in this one glass. Um, tannins are pretty soft and pliable. I definitely feel a little bit of dryness across my palate from the tannins, but they're not aggressive. They're very well integrated into this wine, which I think makes it very food friendly. And in fact, in Sunset Magazine, this is paired with JK Ranch, um, a winter soup that has roasted beets with fresh nutmeg and edible flowers which I love, that sounds great because this does have a lot of floral notes on it. And because that soup is both sort of, um, has a sweetness of the beet, but also this savory earthy note of that root vegetable will pair beautifully with this wine that has this really array of fruit, non-fruit, savory, spice, and earthiness as well.